Hi, this is lesson number 32 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about vector smart object in Photoshop. We will import vector artwork from Illustrator using different options. If you created vector objects in Photoshop using pen tool or custom shape, there is no need to convert local vector object into smart object if your purpose is scaling because vector elements are already highly scalable. But if you are importing your vector artwork from external application, it is very useful to import as a smart object. Here I open a simple square document that is 1000 by 1000 pixel. Here is the size. And our artwork is here in Illustrator. This artwork I prepared for you, we will use for demonstration. For your practice purpose, if you want to use this artwork, the link is in the description of this video. You can download and work on it. So here we have hard shapes and text. This is not just a flat image. If I will click it, everything is selected because it's a group. Individually, we can access the things by selecting with the direct selection tool this way. Still, if you are not familiar with the illustrator, just do the things that I am doing. Follow the instruction from the video. Here in this artwork, every single object is having independent detail. If we will open the layer palette, here we have a group and under this group we have individual elements from this artwork. So if we want to select this all together, we can use selection tool. Since it is a group with a single click, we can access. It is simple to import in Photoshop. We can just press Ctrl C while it is selected, press Ctrl C go back to Photoshop and press Ctrl V. The paste dialog box is open. It's mean Photoshop recognized the vector artwork from Illustrator. And here we have option, layers, smart objects and pixels. Path and shape layer is not much in use. Once you will import as a path, only the path will be imported. And if you will use shape layer option, all the shapes will be imported with the single color whatever color you have in your foreground, your artwork will appear with that color. So let's start with the layer. If I will select layer and click OK, the artwork from the illustrator as it is, it will be imported in Photoshop. If I will click OK, continue and here we have. Once you will import your artwork as a layer, each and every object is having vector detail. And here we can see in the layers, look at this there is a group one and if we will open this group and under this group we have individual path the way we have in illustrator. Now each and every element is having independent layer and that is a vector layer. So Photoshop is capable to edit as a vector artwork. Let's say if I want to change the color of this hard shape here we have this is selected. To change the color we need to select it with any of the selection, path selection or direct selection, both you can use. Even if the path selection is selected, you can see the options here. We have color. If I want, I can change the color. Using direct selection tool, we can even edit it. Look at this. This is one way to import the artwork from Illustrator using layer. So everything will be imported as it was in Illustrator and we have ability to edit it here. Let's try some other options. Control Z, undo. The artwork from Illustrator is already loaded. Once again, we can press Control V to paste. And this time, we will use pixel. We will talk later about uh, smart object. Let's import this time as a pixel. Click OK. The artwork is imported and still it is holding the vector detail as long as you will not press the enter key. If I want, I can even resize as much big I want. But once I will press enter and this cross bounding box, it will disappear. Now it is confirmed as a roster object. After pressing enter, if we will decide to reduce the size this way, hit enter. If we will rescale back, you can see it's got blurred. Control Z undo. Once again, press Control V to paste. This time we can use smart object option. Click OK. Once you will import as a smart object, now you don't need to worry about the size. 
as many time you want you can increase you can reduce it will remain sharp and crisp as it is because this is smart object in the layer you can see here this icon is indicating the smart object and the layer itself it's named smart object vector smart object once you will import your artwork as a smart object photoshop will give you flexibility to edit it later in illustrator the name of this layer is vector smart object but if i will see in illustrator our file name is ps exercise 32 now this artwork is not connected anymore with this layer even if we will close in illustrator we'll go back to the photoshop if we want to edit this artwork the layer is the control we will double click in this area and photoshop will open this specific layer as an independent document in illustrator let's try double click the same artwork we have in illustrator but here the name is different vector smart object our layer name the file before we have it was exercise number 32 the vector smart object document is not connected really with the original file now if we want we can change something here and once we will save automatically it will be updated in photoshop let's try we can select by using direct selection tool click it double click let's make it red i can select these two object also all right if you want you can relocate the elements and once we will save it it will be updated in photoshop now we can click on file save let's go back to the photoshop and look at this it is updated so if you will paste artwork from illustrator as a smart object Photoshop will give you flexibility to edit it later in Illustrator. And since it is a vector smart object, it will remain highly scalable. Let's delete it. Once again, we will press Ctrl V. And this time, we are going to import as a path. Most of the time, you don't need, but if ever you want, you can import it as a path. Click OK. And here we have simple path. And of course, we don't have path detail anymore in our layer palette. To see the detail of this path, we need to click on the path palette. And you can see here we have work path. To select the work path, you need to use path selection tool. And we can access this way. As a shape, also we can import. Control Z undo. And Control V paste again. Once you will select this option, Photoshop will import your artwork as a shape with a selected foreground color click ok and you can see here artwork in the canvas and if we will go back to the layer palette here we have shape one path and shape layer option mostly we don't use you can import vector artwork as a layer if you want to edit it in photoshop as a smart object you can import if you want to edit in illustrator as a pixel you can import if you want to just place in Photoshop and you don't have planned to add it or scale it later time. In order to practice this lesson, you need to have Illustrator in your computer. Check the link in this video description to download this vector file. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.